Hello, Business Calculus students. What we're going to be doing today is, given this table of data for g of t, we're going to estimate the sign of the second derivative. In other words, we want to figure out what's happening with our slopes. Are they increasing? Are they decreasing? What's happening? So a good first step is to start estimating the derivative at these various t values. So for example, g prime of 0 is approximately equal to We've got the change in the y values over the change in the t values. That works out to negative 2. Do that again. g prime of 4 is approximately equal to. Now we've got 8 minus 12 over 8 minus 4, negative 1. One more time. Keep on writing approximately equals here because we got estimates. We're not getting really close to what's going on. 6 minus 8 over 12 minus 8. It's negative 0 0.5. All right, so I'm going to write down what the next couple are going to be. And this would be a good time for you to kind of see, ah, am I getting the same answers? Because if you're not, then what you want to do is check your derivative taking. Let me go up here. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to look at the pattern of my numbers. So the idea is I now have these estimates for the derivative. What I want to figure out is what's happening to my derivative as my input increases. And you can see the pattern here. The pattern that we see is that our derivative is getting less negative and more positive. So in particular, what we can say is g prime of t is increasing. All right, that tells us what's happening with the second derivative, g double prime of t. So if this function is increasing, remember when something is increasing, its derivative is positive. So g prime of t is increasing, so its derivative, the second derivative, is positive. Now, if you want to think about this one more way, what you could think about is what the graph's going to look like. So here's t, and here's g of t, and we'll kind of squeeze a little graph in here. And you notice that what happens is that we start high, we go low, and then we go back up high. So the graph's going to look something like this. That is concave up. And as you read in the text, if you know something is concave up, then you know it has a positive second derivative. And that's how you can estimate the sign of a second derivative from the table of data.